to not take my client in at 6.30 p.m. <laughs> I regret that decision. So if I take a huge shit on the stage, I will fall into the front row. You can blame it on, you know, benzos, or lack thereof. I'm on stage because I have to show off my flu box, and, um, you'll see Em is rocking some fucking hot flu box at the Dick Tracy premiere, which you'll see in this, uh, in this extraordinary film. Raj, you stole all my best bits, so now my brain is whirling. Um, <clears throat> that, which we just saw, was the second production number of Blonde Edition World Tour of 1990. In my opinion, the greatest rock spectacle of all time. Yeah. Yeah. the greatest piece of American musical theater of all time. Yes? Shishian's Truth or Dare and its Silver Anniversary screening. Um, it's so appropriate that we're here in this museum because uh, 25 years later, we have a chance to look at this film and remember where we were 25 years ago. Um, hopefully, everyone walks out of this room with a new thought or a new idea of where they are now. Um, in 1991, I was 12 years old. I was very lonely, very scared gay boy in the suburbs. Um, <clears throat> and as Raj said, we lived in an era when for about three or four years, every year there would be an annual um, uh, mourning for the um, men who had died from AIDS in Entertainment Weekly. I don't know if you guys remember that, but it would be pages and pages and pages of thumbnails of these beautiful, young dancers and painters and artists and actors and singers that were gone. And at nine or 10, sex equaled death. Loved equaled secrecy. But then this happened when I was 12. And we're about to meet six men who um, unintentionally became soldiers for the gay rights movement and gay rights advocacy. Two of them are here tonight. <laughs> but the team leader is also here tonight. <laughs> direct descendant of everything Warhol was about. How he changed art culture, pop culture, the culture of commerce. This movie straddles that blurry line. You know, it's everything he's talking about. Is it fact? Is it fiction? Is it a persona? Is it pathology? Is it a refined, flawless, nuanced showgirl? Or is it a punk from St. Mark's Place? It's all of it. And she's 32 here. And she's, she's, she's. <laughs> <laughs> this woman was, uh, hmm. I told you I wasn't going to censor myself, so, ready? <laughs> she's demanding, you know? She's 32 years old, she's at the top of her, top of the world. She's demanding. She's arrogant. She's loud. <laughs> She's screaming at Warren Beatty. She's screaming at her manager, her dancers, her brother. She's screaming uh, at intolerance. She's screaming at injustice. She's screaming at homophobia and sexism. She's screaming at censorship, okay? And uh, when you tell her to turn it down, she's gonna turn it all down. <laughs> She's 
she's caring. She's shy, she's vulnerable, she's hurt, she's scared. And she acts in spite of it. So tonight I realized that if that's the takeaway, a 12 year old boy can get at this. I'm incredibly grateful. And the 12 year old Joe is beside himself tonight with pride <laughs> and excitement. Gratitude and thanks. Um, I can't. I can't believe this. <laughs> Immediately following the film, um, the filmmaker Al Pacheshian will be here. The um, co-director and choreographer of *Blonde Ambition*, the greatest work of art ever, will be here. <laughs> and two fucking gay soldiers. Jose Gutierrez and Salim Halus will all be here. We'll be right here. They're going to talk to me. They're going to talk to me about it. Play this shit real fucking loud, okay? 